Therizinosaurus chelaniformis is a pretty unique dinosaur. One of the more recognizable ones, especially in the modern day, with popularity booming on them, because they look, um... What the heck? I... Okay, the obvious thing I, I think everyone has already noticed, if you haven't seen this before, is what the heck are those? That's horrifying! What are those for? And that's a good question. We aren't 100% on that. There have been many theories. The remains of Therizinosaurus were first discovered back in 1954, and at the time it was thought they were actually a turtle. Now, you may be confused by this, but understand that, um... We didn't have many uh, remains to go off of. They actually basically only found the arms. And in fact, to date, we really don't know exactly what Therizinosaurus looks like due to the lack of significant remains. There's never been a complete or even nearly complete specimen ever found. We found bits and pieces, mostly involving the arms, again, but in terms of their overall appearance, paleontologists have been forced to look at related animals and kind of extrapolate what they probably looked like. Hence the form you've been seeing this whole time. Is it accurate? Well, again, this is all based off of comparisons to very similar, closely related species. The skull, in particular, is one of the more obnoxious bits to decipher, since, again, we, uh, we, we don't have one of those. That'd be really nice, um, to, to have one of those, but we, we do not. So at this point, we're just basically assuming that they look kind of like their cousins. But none of their cousins have uh, the, the, the forelimb thing. Like, that, that, that is a distinctive trait. That's probably their most distinctive trait, and the one we're definitely sure about. They had those, and they were big and, and sharp, and why? Well, like I said, there were a few reasons proposed, mostly foraging and defense. These are herbivores, very tall ones, and it's believed they probably use such large claws to cut vegetation for them to eat. That's possible, but also they likely would have been used for defense. They're big and sharp and scary, and if you get hit by them, you would probably die horribly. Therizinosaurus would have lived alongside predators like Tarbosaurus, exceedingly close relatives to Tyrannosaurus, so you know, pretty big predators, and it's thought their claws could be used as a method of intimidation or even for defense. They probably would have used them to hit or stab. Probably the latter, to be honest, because one of the arguments against the use of the claws in this manner is that they aren't actually um, that strong. The claws themselves would have been fairly fragile, all things considered, meaning decisive blows could have broken them. But at the same time, if it got the predator away from them, it might have been worth it. And Tess has shown their arms were actually very resistant to stress, which shows they probably used them a lot for various different things, and defense was probably one of them. Although a recent 2023 study suggests the claws weren't for anything. Now seriously, the study suggests there was no mechanical function to them at all, and that they were merely decorative, and the result of paramorphic growth from an increase in body size. I, um, <clears throat> personally, uh, and I understand I'm not a paleontologist, I'm just a guy that reads a lot about dinosaurs, and reads a lot about a lot of stuff, actually. Um, I don't agree with that at all. Like, I see their point to a degree, but let's be real about this. These animals walked around for millions of years. How many species of animals do you know that lived for that long and had something this large, this effectively in the way of their basic functions, since we know they were using their arms a lot, and didn't eventually, like, get rid of them at some point? Like, 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 evolve them out if they weren't using them at all? Maybe the argument is that they were for display. Like, uh, you know, bigger claws meant more likely to mate. And uh, maybe, sure, but I don't really agree with this. Especially with them using their arms so much. They almost had to use their claws for something. The idea of them being completely useless is almost absurd to me. I mean, even back in the day, paleontologists argued that T-Rex's tiny arms were useless, but in the modern day, this has largely been resisted. They weren't used for a whole lot in their case, but they were occasionally used. Therizinosaurus had much larger arms and those big claws. I'm fairly confident in my personal opinion that they definitely used them for something, but in terms of what that something is, it's hard to say. 
vegetation foraging sounds pretty likely to me. I would hazard a guess at that, and I would also support the idea of defense. I mean, if you had no other options, and you had these big old claws, like, maybe they didn't swipe with them, maybe they stabbed. Because that would put a lot of pressure on the arms, which we know were resistant to stress. And if they stabbed with them, they'd be less likely to break. And even if they did, these are claws. They regrow. They're large, so they'd take some time, but they would regrow. They would stab a predator to get them away from them, and even if they broke off, well, you know, they just grow back. Whatever. Animals have survived worse. There's now a source that lived its life with a broken jaw. It's a very famous fossil. Different story I'm getting off topic. The point is, Therizinosaurus has really big claws. Also, we don't exactly know what they completely look like. But hopefully, paleontologists will discover more remains, and we'll be able to piece this animal together for sure in the future. And with that, a special thank you goes to my Apex Predators, Arthur Roy, Metal for Life Guy, and Dr. Racer78. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell.